I'm going to show you some simple frames today. They may not be exactly the frames you are making, but I try to make frames that are as simple as possible, as sturdy as possible, and as functional as possible for the patient. I call these friendly frames. So we imagine here that there's a tibia fracture right here where the clamp is. A simple fracture or perhaps a comminuted fracture. And these are the components which you need. You need uh, two multi-pin holding clamps, two of the straight side arms, a couple of bars, some pins, and four of the connectors. The first thing to do is to be sure that you have the side arm in the multi-pin holding clamp. If you hold this, you'll see that the nut, which is opposite this detail, is the nut which tightens the multi-pin holding clamp. So I tighten this, and I check to be sure that it doesn't come out. So I'm going to do two of those for this uh, simple, uh, simple frame. See here, there's the detail. Here is the nut that I need to tighten for this. Hmm. That's in place, and it doesn't, you have to check that, that it doesn't come out. So now we are going to install one pin close to the fracture on each side. Well, I believe that pins should always be uh, drilled by hand, not by power. So I'm going to put this in here. This is the front face of the tibia. A very common mistake is to put the pins too vertically, like this. They should really be bent a little bit so that they pass through the medullary canal. A little bit bent up, but not too much. That's distal to the fracture. It's very good. You can feel the far side with this plastic bone very nicely. There it is there. Now I'm going to put one pin on the other side. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a pin group. Put this on the bone. And I take the pin, this is the pin I'm going to put here, and, oh, that's in a bad spot, so we're going to have to come, we are going to have to come a little more distal here, put it right there, and I mark the skin, like that. So I know where that mark is on the skin, I'm going to put the second pin in as parallel as possible to the first pin. And then I slide the pin holding clamp over the pin. There we are. Slides good. And about a finger breadth there. And then when you tighten the pin, you always hold the clamp and tighten like this so that you don't twist the pin in the bone. And first one side a little bit, then the other side until you get it firm. Not too firm, but just firm enough. There we go. So that's one pin group. Now we're going to make the other pin group. So now you can use the pin groups to reduce the fracture, to make the fracture as good as possible. And then I want to use first just one bar. So I'm going to uh, 11 to 11, put this on here, take another one, they're all plainly labeled here, 11 to 11 with the tightening up, like that. When you do fix it tours, it's better not to try and juggle too many things at once. So I just use, I begin with just one bar, and I can flick those off. Just click right off, and I can tighten my one bar frame here. Now, several years back, we studied this frame. We studied this frame in Geneva, and why would you want to have a second bar here with two more things? If you have two, it's and they're parallel, it doesn't make it any stiffer. It's better to have what we call a Geneva frame, 
where the two bars are not in the same plane. So I'm going to use the advantage of putting this on the pin here. Now your surgeons might not like this configuration, but it's actually mechanically more stable because the two bars are not in the same plane. You see the two bars are in different planes, and that makes for a more stable configuration. So now I can take these and click these off, and tighten these down. And I have what we call a Geneva frame. It's a four pin external fixator with two bars, and the two bars are in different planes. And this, this is a four pin frame with two bars, four connectors, and it's a friendly frame because it will fit inside a pair of blue jeans. It's not too wide. The patient can walk around. It's also a very stable frame. The patient can be full weight bearing in such a frame.